Yo, what's up, yo? What's good? Back with another video. Yeah, just giving like a little update on some new mods I added. Um, the last video I did, I had showed y'all that I had this um, LED carbon fiber steering wheel. I'm loving this, y'all. I'm loving it. Yeah, you know I mean, you got the flat bottom on it. LED lights. It's got a lot of cool features to it. Um, I had gave like a bit of a review on it after I had installed it the first time, but I ain't never really given any uh, some daytime driving footage with it. Last time it was at night, probably couldn't see it as good. But you see, you got the carbon fiber accents on it. Nice bright LEDs. Got that red stitching on there. But um, the last thing that I added over the weekend was I had threw on, I had the grill swap. So now I got like the, uh, the snorkels on it. And I also put like the snorkel lights on it with the LED lights. I ain't too fond of them. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, it probably was from a, a cheaper brand on Amazon. I should have got it from like Vicrads or something like that. You'll see when I show them pull up to a spot and show them to y'all in a minute but it's like the led lights they're kind of like uh it's like a a bunch of individual led lights so they just look like a bunch of dots on there instead of like one flowing source of light you know what i mean so i might end up switching those out eventually but i'm not even gonna have more on too often so i'm really not concerned about that i just like the way the uh the new grill looks like the way the new grill looks like, you know what I mean, with the snorkels and everything, so rock out with that. So, I'm going to turn the camera back on in a minute, let y'all see what that look like, all right? All right, so we just pulled up to a little chill spot, a little cool car wash up around the way. Pardon the wind. I know it's probably windy as hell out here. You probably hear that shit on the camera. I was just pulling up to let y'all see uh, the new mod. Like I said, that snorkels on there changed the top and bottom grill. Shout out to Broski, you know what I mean? They grabbed it for me, you know what I'm saying, for uh for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? I was actually thinking about doing this when I first um got the car. Because I always liked the way the um I think what was it like the scat packs or something like that came out in 19. Even though this is an RT, you know what I mean? They had them snorkel grills on it, then when they came out with these, I was like, yeah, I fuck with that, but for the simple fact that you had to take the entire front bumper off, I wasn't gonna fuck with it. But, you know what I mean? I'm glad I did now. Uh, it's a bunch of videos on YouTube, you know what I mean? Showing you how to take the front bumper off. It's not difficult at all. It's tedious as hell. You know what I mean? Cause you, uh, and anybody that, that did it before, you know that them bolts inside here is like one bolt here, one bolt here, and one here. This one right here is the most ridiculous, awkward place to ever put a John But You know, that's what they do, you know what I mean? Because they don't want you fucking with your car. They want you to take it to the dealership for everything. But it was cool. It took me longer than I anticipated, but you know, it worked out. So, like I said in a previous video, I got the snorkel lights on there. And I like it because you can't really tell that they are lights. They just look like the, you know what I mean? Like the default snorkels. So I wired it up. The way I wired it up, I put like a um, remote module onto it so I can um, turn them on when I want. 
That way, um, I don't have to, I didn't hardwire them up to the headlights and the side markers. So, you know, I can just get that look whenever I want. It's just slow and everything, but I'm never gonna use that. So that's what they would look like if they had like concern signals on there. So, you know, but I'm just gonna keep it on the on option when I do use them. And if you look up close, like I said, it's like a bunch of small, see how it's just like small individual LED lights instead of one solid light. That's the thing I don't like. From a distance, you probably can't tell too much, but up close, you definitely can. But it's cool though. Yeah, so that's the latest mod. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. More than likely, um, my next mod will be some um, performance based. I said I want to get a um, a LED, not a LED, a, um, a Diablo tuner. I think I want to get the i3 tuner because that one you don't have to necessarily do the um, the PCM swap. So I want to get something where I could get like a 93 tune. And I think those add maybe about maybe 20, 30 horsepower from what I've seen on um, a few videos on YouTube. So I'm like, shit, for $300, you know what I mean? 20, 30 horsepower, that ain't bad. Just from like a 93 tune. If you got a coder intake and like a couple other mods too. So I might end up doing that. Yeah, so this is just a little quick video. Just wanted to show y'all that.